Here's a review of the Norscott Cat 308 CCR, made in 150 scale again by Norscott. Uh, this model was purchased used from Rabbit Smelly 400, as some of you know, and not everything is stock, but I'll go over that. Pretty much wanted to make the review because there's not many of them, and it's a really nice little model. I'm pretty sure it retails for about 35 bucks. You can get it at 3000 Toys, DHS, DieCastModels.co, whatever. Um, so, real quick before the re I start with the review, um, normally there's a 308 CCR um, logo right there, and this hydraulic cylinder is different. I'm pretty sure the regular bucket can only go back about that far. So, just want to throw that out there, and everything else is uh, the same. Um, so, get on with the review. Movement, uh, boom, raises up nice and Nice and high, definitely. I think, pretty sure it's realistic because it's supposed to be within the radius of the machine, the undercarriage, and you'd lift that up all the way. Um, stick, that's as far as it goes in. Pretty sure, realistically, it could go farther, and I think I, I can if you grind down tabs in there, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Uh, your bucket, again, I'm pretty sure it only curls back about there, and you can curl it in all the way to there, which is great. Um, it digs down like that, goes out that far, in that far, out in your bucket. I made it go out that far because I have a different cylinder, and curl it in that far. And you can see the pins still need to be painted, but your tracks, they roll good if they're on. Now, this side over here fell off, and they're actually kind of a pain to get back on, because you don't want to mess up the little rubber feet inside, but there, I just got it on, and they roll pretty smooth, and they don't really fall off unless you knock them off. Well, this one does. This one is giving me problems, but the rubber tracks, what do you expect? Don't really mess with them. Your blade goes down that far, which I'll lower down here goes down that far and goes up that high and there's just a little plastic cylinder in there could be fixed I'm sure and, and might fix it um so moving on normally again there'd be a 308 CCR thing which looks something like that on that side but it was painted over cabin so it's pretty nice and your cab, again, it's a North Scout model, so it's pretty plain. Um, little simulated light, I guess. But I'll start with the boom here. You got a nice, nice size bucket, pretty small, uh, five tooth. It's got a little um, lifting hook, which is real nice that they added that. It's kind of surprising because they don't add that to all their models, and this is one of their smaller models, and they added that, so who knows. Um, the linkage, I think that's auto scale. Um, your hydraulic lines, they could have done a better job, I think. The little rubber lines, like how much more does that cost than to cast it? This is definitely casted. I might paint that black. And that that's fine. But I just, I, I don't like when they do that. Because even if you want to add hydraulic lines to running to it, it'll look stupid because there's already some there. But I probably, I might still. Um, this model lacks hydraulic lines completely. And for $35, I don't think it's, this model's really worth it. It's just, it's it's nice because there's not many mini excavators or small excavators, but I just, I don't know. I don't like how North Scott did with this model. Other side, again, it is pretty good detail. A little block for your auxiliary and everything, but, and the pins are all painted, which is a plus. Really small cat logo there. And you got your casted lines, but... Still, no stick hydraulic lines, which, you know, the bucket doesn't, and of course that's not going to. Boom, no hydraulic lines, but still, it's really, I think that's pretty good movement. Um, could go down farther, like dig deeper, but it's better than not being able to dig at all, so. You can see how the lines cast, cast it on the side, which is good. Um, there's not much to say about this, because it's pretty small, not much detail, so. Um, top. Again, there's nothing to it. Exhaust, 
little vents. Could could have done better with the vents, but I don't want to put them down. Um, plastic handrail, and I guess that's a fuel cap. I'm not sure. Under here, you can see your silver painted light and etched out light. I don't know what that was all about, but oh well. Um, 308 CCR. It's pretty. It's nice color. And back. Undercarriage kind of already went over. Your blade, pretty nice size blade. It's got bolt detail and nice curl, <laughs> nice curl to it. I don't know what that is. And you got a little wear guard, which is nice because it's realistic. Tracks, they are rubber. It'd be really nice if they're metal because I'm pretty sure the real machine has metal, but I'm not quite sure. Um. Yeah, I'm almost positive it is. Or maybe, it, I'm not quite sure. You correct me if I'm wrong. Undercarriage, you know, again, it, you can roll it. Doesn't fall off for the most part, but I am having some problems with this one side. But it's pretty much it. Uh, would I recommend this model for $35? Probably not. I saw it, never really thought about buying it until I saw Mike was selling it for a great price. Knew it would be an easy fix to fix that. And it was great for the price, and I wanted to buy something else from so I was like, yeah, why not? So I decided to buy it. Um, compared to, it's kind of hard to get the size. Compared to a PC-210, two, um, you can really tell that there's a, there's a significant d difference. Uh, hold on, let me get this a little bit better. You can kind of tell. It is a smaller size excavator, but it definitely... For a diorama, so definitely uh, looks pretty nice in my opinion. Here's a dump truck because I like to. Because I never really can understand the size. No one really compares it to other models. So there, it's actually kind of nice. You could display it like that. I think the truck's a little big, but it's still pretty nice. I know a lot of people buy these for the cabs to put up, to make a custom zero tail swing excavator. So I would never do that for thirty five dollars. Um, it's just, that cab's not worth $35. The model's definitely overpriced, but, you know, because there's not many small excavators, then it's kind of one of those things, supply and demand, I guess, but, pretty nice job, I guess, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks, it.